Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. I usually don't take it for granted. By supporting me, ensure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. I'm just reminding you, support me in this work by liking the video. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, William Samuel Ruto is putting Kenya into danger. Why am I saying that? William Ruto is controlling this country economically with the directions, rules, and principles from IMF and World Bank. Did William Ruto sit down and did he had a research, the basis of IMF and World Bank. I want you to watch this video. America is never going to pay its debts. Uh, it doesn't have to. It can, its debts are in its own currency. We can simply print it. Uh, the African debt is not in its currency. The African debt is in U.S. dollars. Africa has to uh, earn the U.S. dollars, uh, and uh, the only way it can uh, earn the U.S. dollars is not to be assassinated for growing its own food and becoming uh, independent uh, and uh, doing something that the United States uh, does not like. The principle underlying the foundation of the World Bank is that no country should grow its own food. Africa and the third world should only grow export crops. To export, uh, in order to have an oversupply of cocoa and uh, uh, other tropical raw materials, to keep down the price, they must buy their grain from the United States or Europe so that if they do something that we don't like, we can do what America tried to do to China in the 60s. We can sanction them. We can say, we're going to starve you. We're going to not export uh, any grain to you. So owing their foreign debt in dollars means that they have to somehow sell something that the United States wants, not what they want. Uh, I think the, the most evil organizations in the world today are the, uh, the World Bank and the International Monetary. But our president, William Ruto, will not listen to anyone who is trying to help him or tell him the truth. When IMF and World Bank was started, remember they have their headquarters in the United States of America. And they, their basis, when the IMF and World Bank was started, no African country was invi invited in that meeting. And later on, after we finally started becoming independent, we as African countries, they started to summon us, you know, through our former presidents. And now, upon my realization, I've realized that when these people are giving us loans, they're giving us using dollars. And because they know when they give us with, their, with our local currencies, we might print and pay them. So they want to use their dollars. And that is why earlier on, William Ruto told us that we were going to get rid of dollars, which for me, it is not something that is easy that William Ruto can just speak, then is going to be implemented. Remember, several African countries that are down on their knees because of the loans from IMF, International Monetary Fund, and the World Bank. I want you to listen to what PLO Lumumba is telling Africans. When the IMF and the World Bank were created in Bretton Woods in New Hampshire in the United States, it was in 1944. None of the African countries participated in its creation. It was British and American economists, and it was specifically designed at that time during the rebuilding of Europe, the implementation of the Marshall Plan. And when we regained our independence uh, as African countries were then grafted into it, IMF and World Bank are economic enslavers. 
What they are designed to do is to ensure that we are in a perpetual state of debt. You can never get out of IMF and Bretton Woods institutions generally because they want to ensure that they control your economy and when they control your economy, they control your politics and when they control your politics, they control you and when they control you, they bring in military bases and when they bring in military bases, they determine who uh, governs you because if you don't play ball, they are going to instigate the armies to overthrow you because in any event, African armies want to be trained in Sandhurst. They still want to be trained in the United States of America. So they are their world view is still dictated by those foreign powers. What we must do as a continent is to use our institution for purposes of financing our affairs. The African Development Bank was going to be such an engine, but you now know that it has almost 88 shareholders. The second largest shareholder is the United States of America. <laughs> Japan has shareholding. <laughs> the United Kingdom has shareholding. France has shareholding. They have seized and captured and paralyzed African Development Bank. It is only African in name. And as they say, he or she who pays the piper calls the tune. Even this sanction that you see being deployed against countries such as Zimbabwe is because we don't have an African institution. And one of the things that I hope that Africa and Union will begin to do, particularly when we are going to celebrate 60 years since the creation of the OAU, now AU, in the 23rd, 24th, and 25th days of May in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, is to rethink how we finance our affairs. Africa Union itself is almost 70% financed from outside. Finance even by NGOs such as GIZ and Rolf Wallenberg Institute and European NGOs. And what they do is they simply tell you if the agenda is uh, climate, they tell you to go to climate. If the agenda is human rights, now the main agenda is LGBTQI. They tell you if you don't behave, we are going to cut aid. And dead aid, Dambisa Moyo, Zambia. But can you still convince William Ruto? that IMF is not good for the country. Can you convince William Ruto that Walmart is not good for the country? If already China, they're rejecting IMF, International Monetary Fund, then William Ruto wants to be a beggar to these people. Something that also I have realized with this man, William Ruto, the way he's going to destroy our country. Why? He's getting an addition of loans day in, day out from International Monetary Fund, the same to the World Bank without any notice and even giving us knowledge that they have loans and they're getting more loans day, days after days. But because William Ruto seems like working hard, busy body, he doesn't want to borrow, but at the same time he's borrowing. Remember IMF and World Bank is a trap to an economical transformation of a country. Look at whatever Bukina Faso president Ibrahim Traore is doing. As you speak, look at the, the economy of South Africa. They are trying to come up, but the problem is about IMF and World Bank. Look at the story of Ghana, about the IMF, if you can understand. So I've said many times, I've repeated in this platform, if a country wants to develop, please stay away from IMF and World Bank. Because as much as you get into the IMF, they usually control everything. And in fact, they usually tell you not to produce food that will assist you in the country, but literally produce food that is going to be exported and to support their own people. As, as African countries, we remain poor because we export our commodities that are benefiting then they are bringing us leftovers. But we are having presidents like William Ruto. They don't understand. They will come out and tell you, I have a plan. I have a plan. Which plan? You cannot have a plan already. The budget of a country is being controlled by the IMF and World Bank. And for me, I can say with this little knowledge that I have, IMF is going to destroy Kenya. And my reason is this. 
when the financial budget of 2023-2024 financial year was being passed in the National Assembly, have you accessed or have you substantiated anything that they have done? Nothing. Why? Because immediately the financial year 2023-2024 was passed and signed by William Samaruto. What was the agreement? The agreement was they must double the fuel levy from 8% to 16%. They were to hike taxes all the corners so that they can have money to pay their debts. You know, you have to produce more to pay them, not to satisfy your people. And that is why we are being told as a country that 70%, 70%, even alone even 70%, for every 10 shillings that we are collecting, 6 shillings is going to debt. Every 10 shillings, 6 shillings is going to debt. Then you want to tell me how can we survive as a country? It is bad. But our president is a flying president, is a tourist. He's having his masters controlling him like a remote. What can you say? There's still some individuals are celebrating that William Ruto is going to change the economy. William Ruto could have changed the economy if he's, he was not having this connection with the IMF and World Bank. The way he was so eloquent about not having debts or having the relationship in between Kenya and IMF and World Bank. Can you tell me today which country has developed because IMF and World Bank? Not, nothing. Nah. So I think William Ruto must pull up his socks or else our country is going to be on its, knee, on its knees very soon. Very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till we meet in another.